This is Action 12 Sports with Derek Smith. Well, it's the sixth annual Seneca High School basketball tournament. And for the last three years, the tournament championship has gone to the Miami War Dogs. Well, Lamar, with a chance to knock off the three time champions, skipped to the fourth quarter where Lamar holds a nine point lead. But Miami's Eli Chenoweth shortens the gap. War Dogs down just 37 to 30. But Lamar proved to be relentless tonight. Ian Moore striking from the top of the key. That puts the Tigers up 46 to 35. Then Miami. Would go on one last run. They score six unanswered points, including this inside pass to Eli and Coyne. Miami only down by five, but Lamar would hold off Miami tonight. They go on to win this one. Final score 48 to 43. How about the next game after? It's Seneca playing host to the Diamond Wildcats, and Diamond would come out strong early on. The sophomore Colt Sewer with the pullback jumper, nothing but net. Wildcats up 10 to 4. Then in the second, Indians down by 10 at this point. Zach Dunham helping the cause. Drives inside the paint with the layup. That shortens Seneca's deficit to just seven. But Diamond coming to play tonight. Shot is off target, but Carter Pruitt, watch this, comes out of nowhere to get the rebound in the shot. 24-16, but Seneca representing home court tonight comes back to beat Diamond. Final score, 56-44. Then it's the Galena Bulldogs off to a 2-0 start this season, hosting the Commerce Tigers. First quarter, Galena, good ball movement around the perimeter, and Garrett Hall open for the three. Why not? Buries it. 5-3 Bulldogs. Then later in the first quarter, P.J. Sarwinski going baseline. Nice look inside of Hunter Green. Bucket and the foul. Galena now up 14-5 in the second quarter. Commerce looking for that spark. Chandler Wilson up top to the key for three. Commerce still down 21-9. But Galena looking to run. Garrett Hall, the pass ahead to sophomore J.C. Sheldon, who finishes. Galena led 37-20 with the half. They go on to win by final score of 70-31. to And finally in basketball, the Lady Bulldogs hosting Pittsburgh. And what a start for Carl Junction. Their defense creating offense. The steal leading to this fast break. And Alex Vogt finishing with the layup. 2-0 Carl. Then a little later, Katie Scott finds her sister, Megan Scott, open underneath. Carl races out to an 8-0 lead. But Carl going to continue this run. Freshman Danny Wrench, the steal. She goes right to the basket for the layup. Carl jumps out to a 16 to nothing lead. Then at the end of the quarter, Pittsburgh finding some offense. Does she a Turner open in the corner for the three? But tonight was belongs to Carl Junction. Lady Bulldogs improved to 4-0 with a 60 and 30 win.